Hey dudes, what's poppin'? Harley here, and welcome to the first episode of my new series, Video Game Theory. And today, we're gonna be looking at Sans the Skeleton from Undertale. Now this goofy guy might have more to him than you originally thought. Sans the Skeleton, also known by his alias Ness, is a wacky skeleton from the game Undertale. He has time manipulating abilities and is by far the hardest boss in the game. But despite his simple appearance, this zany dude's got a lot of things he's hiding. But what if I told you that one of his secrets is that he's actually a character from another popular game? Overwatch. Yes, I propose that Sans the Skeleton is Reaper. Now you might be thinking, but Harley, Reaper's not from Undertale, that's impossible. But I think that I can change your minds after I provide this epic evidence. First off, let's get their abilities out of the way. And might I add, they match up exactly. They can both teleport for one, and are both able to instantaneously summon guns from seemingly out of nowhere. And have you ever noticed that the little energy ball things that Reaper can consume after killing an enemy look identical to Sans's blue fireball in his eye? Plus, both are skeletons that wear black robes. I mean, if the similarities were uncanny at first, then these two characters should seem exactly the same at this point. But I have one piece of evidence that will blow your brains out. Now, if you look at Sans's most iconic quote, if it weren't for Toriel telling me not to kill humans, you'd be dead where you stand. Now take a closer look at this. He says dead. Now what is Reaper's most iconic quote? Die, die, die. Yes, they both seem to have a fascination with death and both seem to be on the brink of death, both being skeletons. Plus, the whole Sans being able to bleed thing would all make sense because Reaper can also bleed. Now at this point, I think it's pretty clear that Sans the Skeleton himself is Reaper from Overwatch. But I mean, that's not the craziest revelation we've had for an Overwatch character. Tracer turns out to be gay and Symmetra's autistic. Really, when you think about it, it's not too big a leap to say that Reaper is Sans, but I guess we'll just have to wait for one of the Overwatch officials to come out and officially state it. If anyone can get in contact with one of them and ask them, I would greatly appreciate that. Anyway, broskies, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome video game theory.